Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to respond to a button click in Xamarin.Form. Um, you're going to learn how to access the code behind, you're going to learn how to link an on-screen object to the code behind, and how to send from the code behind back to an on-screen object. This will be a very simple project. I'm going to click a button and a text is going to appear. Uh, you can use this though, of course, to drive really complicated applications. Okay, so I'm back at the beginning of where I started from. Basic document, all I changed was Xamarin is awesome. I did that in my last video. So in order to make some changes here, I need to stop. And again, I'm keep a really simple app. So I'm going to delete everything that Microsoft gave me. And over my toolbox, I have several of my objects. I'm going to pull over a button. The XAML gets dragged into here, and all of your attributes will be put inside of the XAML object. So if I put in text here, whatever's in this box is visible in the box when you run it. So I put the word click me there, and when I pop this up to run it, it's inside of the text box when it appears. Um, you don't have to type your attribute stuff here. I, I usually do. You see it says click me. You can, oops, you can also when you click on the object, come down here to your properties, and we see we have a text property, and it says click me. And when I change it over here, it changes up here. So however you wish to set your properties, you can. Most of the online tutorials and books I see have you typing them right here, but you do have this option. I'm going to create a label. Notice I can just type it or I can drag it. I'm going to create a blank label. I'm going to set text color equal to my favorite color, purple. Notice you have your traditional HTML colors here and you have your standard RGB values, which you should be used to. Um, I want to interact with this in code, so I need to put this into my class. Up here on my content page, we have this X colon class. X becomes the shortcut for video one dot main page. So I'm gonna give it a name. We call it output label. You can call it cucumber. Doesn't matter. Okay, so I save it, and there's nothing in the screen. So if you were to run this, you wouldn't see the label. I now need to link my button to some code. The code is going to go behind your XAML. Um, you'll notice I have main page XAML. There's a flippy triangle here. When I hit the flippy triangle, main page XAML CS appears. When I open it up, this is the main page. This is the code behind. Um, it's written in C sharp. Public main page is the entry point to your project. Initialize component builds everything on the screen. If you're going to write any code in main page, put it after here. Uh, I'm going to create a function that responds. And this function that responds is going to be the following. I can call it whatever I want. I'm choosing to call it button click. I could call it cucumber. I can call it tomato. It doesn't matter. I've got a sender, which is the object that we clicked on, which is really helpful when you mess with things like labels and drop down boxes that you want to know which one you clicked on. And then event args, things like is control down. Okay, so button click is here. I'm going to put some code in button click. We see I have access to output label. Output label is a label, it has properties. This will take anything Unicode. You can put emojis in here with the Windows Emoji Keyboard if you wish. Um, I actually haven't done that. Let me see if that works. It should work. Windows period brings it up in case you weren't sure how that worked. And now I need to link this particular function to here. To do so, I'm going to access the event. The event is clicked. I don't have a button click in there. 
see how it dropped since I built the code behind first. Um, you can also put the clicked event here and then go build the code behind, but then you get you lose the cool when this said the drop. So I put this in, I run it. Give it a minute to appear. You really have to be patient when you run apps for the program. Please click me. And so thank you for clicking me, and there's my pretty emoji. If I don't like the fonts, I can set the font size. Set that to 24. And hot reload, adjust the size here. Awesome. All right, so in this video, you learn how to put objects onto your form, and I kept the stack layout. Um, Xamarin calls this a view. I said form inadvertently. I created a button object. I set a property of that button object. I set the code for that property behind the scenes in the code behind. And then I set a label. Gave that label a name. And chose some font properties in that thing. Alright, thanks for watching. Good luck.